Hello, statisticians. Section 12.2, test for independence Excel video, is very similar to the 12.1 video where we tested for goodness of fit. We're going to use the same command for a p-value equals chi sq dot test, open a parentheses, then we're going to select all the observed values, comma, we're going to select all the expected values. That'll give us the p-value for our test. An instructor wants to know if student grade is independent of what class they're taking. So the following grades by class are collected. We've got algebra, geometry, and business, and we're observing the number of A, B, C, and D grades in the four classes, in the three classes. We need to build an expected table to see how many we would expect to see in each cell, assuming that the two are actually independent from each other. In other words, we're assuming the null hypothesis, which says the variables are independent. The alternative hypothesis is that the variables are dependent on each other. In order to do that, we first need totals on all the rows and columns. So underneath the algebra column, I will say equals sum for sum, open a parentheses, and select the algebra cells. When I hit tab, it tells me there were 70 algebra students. I can now click that cell and grab the little dot in the corner and stretch it across to get the totals for all the other classes. We also need totals for each of the individual grades. So next to the A row, I can say equals sum, open a parentheses, and select the individual grades. And when we hit enter, we find there were 48 A grades between all three classes. Again, I can grab that little dot and drag it down to copy the formula. We're going to copy it all the way down so we also get a total of all of the class totals at 233 in the bottom right corner. Now we're ready to calculate our expected values. I can click into the Algebra A cell and hit Equals, and we're going to take the Algebra Total times the A total divided by the overall total. So the algebra total was 70 times, I'm going to click the A total, which is 48, the same row and column as the row and column I'm interested in. Then we divide by the overall total and hit enter. We can copy this process on each of the cells, but we, there's a nice little trick we can do in Excel to make this easier. Up above in the formula, the denominator says E13. I'm going to stick a dollar sign in front of the E and a dollar sign in front of the 13. That locks the cell. We also want to lock E and 13 in the numerator. So in the numerator, I'll put a dollar sign in front of E and a dollar sign in front of 13. When I hit enter, that doesn't seem to change the value of the cell. But now what it allows me to do is copy the formula across by clicking the little dot across and copy the formula down by clicking the little dot and going down. This now gives me the values for every single cell that I would expect to happen if these two variables are independent. If I want to calculate the chi-squared value, I almost need to make a new table to help me with the calculation. So to calculate our chi-squared, we've got algebra, geometry, and business. We've got A, B, C, and D grades. And I'll go ahead and outline the box. To calculate the chi-squared, we use the same formula we saw with independence. We'll say equals, open a parentheses, the observed algebra A, minus the expected algebra A, close parentheses, squared, divided by the expected algebra A. Again, I can click that dot in the bottom right corner and copy it across and copy it down. The chi-squared value is simply going to be the sum of each of those cells. We can say equals sum, open a parentheses, and select all the cells in our chi table, giving us a chi-squared value of 7.85422. To calculate the p-value, we can use the chi-squared test command in Excel with equals chi sq dot test, open a parentheses, 
select the observed values, comma, select the expected values, close the parentheses, and when we hit enter, we find we have a p-value of 0.2489. Let's say our alpha value was supposed to be 0.05. Because our p-value is so much larger than the alpha value, we will fail to reject the null hypothesis. We were trying to prove that the two variables of class and grade are dependent. We were trying to prove the alternate hypothesis. We failed at that, so we can say there is not sufficient evidence to conclude class and grade are dependent. Hopefully this video was helpful to you in calculating chi-squared and a p-value for a test for independence. Good luck on your assignment, and we will see you on the next video.